I had someone struggling for two years trying to get an experiment to work that only worked if it was broken. I have a colleague uh, that I admire very much and on his uh, website he not only has uh, a section that says uh, highlights but he also has a section that says uh, low lights um, so things that did not go uh, very well and um, <clears throat> I, I we had an experiment um, and it is uh, it went on to be called uh, the lead zeppelin we had uh, a sphere of lead and and lead uh, happens to be uh, a, a superconductor at low temperatures and superconductors they avoid magnetic fields so we could make this a piece of lead uh, float to a place where the magnet magnetic field was uh, smaller and then uh, the question was okay how uh, how how much damping does this motion feel and and is this useful as a force sensor in the future so uh, this thing was floating and we needed to detect its motion so the um and so we could actually see this, this particle uh, float. And then to do uh, series experiments or more series experiments, we, we put a, a coil next to it so that we could pick up uh, a change in flux. So if this ball uh, goes up and down and then a coil uh, measures the change in flux in the coil because this uh, magnet, or this, this uh, superconductor floats by it. And the vibration is what we wanted to measure. So. The, the undergraduate student uh, graduated, wrote a nice thesis with the first measurements of uh, this Led Zeppelin floating. And it seemed like a very nice uh, project with uh, very sharp resonances and potentially a very good force sensor. So then uh, a graduate student, uh, so a different person was going to spend, uh, say, the first half year of their graduate thesis research um, on, on assessing whether this uh, Led Zeppelin was a, a good force sensor or not, and whether we should continue this research. So then the story starts. He uh, could get this thing to work only very occasionally. And uh, so you try to fix all the wires, maybe something is broken and you fix it, you try again. Um, so I, I should say we measured the flux in this loop with a squid, which is a very, very sensitive sensor for uh, mo uh, for flux. So the, the squid, as it turned out, was so sensitive that it was completely overwhelmed by the noise in the systems. And it only worked, this experiment only worked if there was a broken wire in the system. Because then the noise would be low enough that the squid was uh, working, and then the signal through the broken wire, so uh, across the little capacitance there, was large enough to uh, um, sends a signal. So this was the experiment that uh, um, only worked if there was a broken wire. And uh, the PhD thesis, uh, or the, the student went on to write a beautiful thesis uh, about the Led Zeppelin, uh, only after he discovered, okay, this is such a sensitive experiment, this is uh, in fact a good idea, but uh, this, the experiment was too sensitive to uh, work at once only when we figured out okay we should get the noise down and then the noise was so low that the squid could work and it turned out to be a very nice experiment but at first the first i should say more than a year maybe two years i think so that that that's what makes it a low light i had someone struggling for two years trying to get an experiment to work that only worked if it was broken but thankfully we found out